I like the countryside, I always have done, mm. since I was about, well, as long as I can remember, when I was about 10, I used to go to primary school, and a uh, couple of lads I used to make with introduced me to the countryside, we used to go birds nesting, etc, etc, uh, and I, I've always been interested in the countryside ever since, uh, and I, I don't like to have to get on the bus to travel, I like to walk out my door and see the countryside, and it, it just keeps me happy. I just, you know, I just love it being near nature. Uh, and I wouldn't like to be anywhere else, to be honest. So, it's my way of life. It suits everybody, but it, it suits me. I mean, I've been a, I've sort of been a member of the fishery for 16 years. I've, uh, I've now run it, I've run it for now for seven years along with another chap. Uh, I've always done carp fishing for 40 odd years, so it's a small, uh, smallest lake. You walk through the gates and it's like walking, it's like the secret garden on the telly, it's walking to another world. And you leave behind nuisance phone calls and electric bills and you, you can just lose yourself in nature. I like it for the fishing. Uh, I like going down there when I'm not fishing, doing jobs, keeping the place tidy. Because a lake that's left to its own devices will just turn it into a, a marshland and, and it just go over. So you, you, you've got to uh, intervene in nature and, and keep it keep it that way. So I get I get that pleasure out of it. Plus, it's a social thing. Uh, there's always lads fishing down there. They travel from anything up to 80 miles away to fish it. Uh, I can go down there and have a brew. Uh, I'd sooner go down there and chat to the lads, have a brew, than, than go to the pub because it's. I can talk about the things I'm interested in. Uh, so it, for me, it's become a way of life. Uh, and I spend, now I'm retired, I spend three or four days a week down there. Mm. And there's always something different happening. Uh, I spend three days fishing, but when I'm, when I'm not fishing, uh, watching the birds, you know, whatever. I do a bit of everything, really. Uh, this area is, I mean, there's a lot of badgers, foxes, uh, birds of prey. The only thing we don't have around here are probably deer. There are one or two about, but I know people. I know people have seen them, but I've not seen them. But it's quite, it's quite very structured. It's quite a good place because there's a lot of mirrors, so you get, uh, you, you know, you, you've got quite a high density of otters, which, uh, although they're indigenous to this country, uh, and they have a place in this country for right to be, uh, they do, they do cause damage. Uh, Hence, we've had to fence the lake off, put 600 metres of fence lake just to keep them out. Uh, but uh, it's a sort of status quo at the moment. We're happy, they're happy, so hope it stays that way. But I know lots of fishers that have been wiped out with otters, so we've had, we've had to go to the lake to fence it off. But uh, the other wildlife, I think a bit of everything really. What's your buzzards about? They're getting quite common now. Red kites are, are on the way up. Uh, I enjoy my butterflies, a bit of everything. Uh, the paths need, need keeping it, it keeping, you know, the grass needs keeping down the path. We build the swims for the lads, because the lads, all the lads that fish there fish for two or three days at a time, so they bid me up in the big wax, so we need to make the swims dry, so we put, we tend to get whatever we can get on, we put bark on the swims. Uh, weed clearing, that's a, a big job. Uh, Cutting trees back, fallen trees, we get quite a few trees that fall down, or we have to cut them down because they're about to fall down. Uh, that's where my, my logging comes in. So I get I get the choice of the logs, what two or three of us do. Uh, we cut the logs, uh, and that's me, that's winter fuel for me fire. So uh, um, I enjoy doing that. It's, it's, it's back to nature for me. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a simpler life, but it's, uh, it's one that suits me.